What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling this week? Today, we're talking about procrastination. We're talking about how a lot of people who are going to get into business procrastinate on one of the most important things, and that is learning the business side, right? When you want to learn how to shoot something that's lit a proper way, you're quick to go get a mannequin or something, and you're quick to go out, you know, find a way to shoot it. But you guys don't want to practice on the business side of things. So I want to kind of talk about that. So sit tight. Let's roll graphics. This time of year in my niche is conference season. So unfortunately, you know, uh, the lives and the uh, after hours are going to be a little bit on the short side because I'm slammed, but I'll have more footage away from the desk. One of the videos that I have coming up and some of the gold members know because I talked to him about um, is about a client that I shot that we it was a pretty big client, um, but we didn't use big cameras. So big ca clients with small cameras. I want to show you guys how I do it. Um, I'm talking about GoPros, things like that. So you can see how we manage big clients with small cameras. Sometimes you can get things done with a few GoPros if you understand what they're looking for. So let me just chop it up and talk to you guys a little bit about just I had some consultations this week and it was just a theme that I'm hearing a lot of and I want to just speak to it and then we can get straight into the gold member side of things and chop it up and things like that. When it comes to procrastination, I'm hearing a lot of people who maybe are afraid or putting off going out doing it. You can only study so long when it comes to business. Business require experience. Just like photography and videography, I can talk to you about what it's like filming. And then it's something about being out there where you have to run into problems with audio. You have to run into problems with lighting or shooting in situations where it's mixed lighting. You have to run into those problems to really understand how to handle it. I always determine whether or not my camera has really good dynamic range when it comes to its ability to handle mixed lighting. Go shoot in the office building that has terrible fluorescent lighting and then you got lights coming from a window and you're trying to light it. Go shoot in that situation and see how your footage come out. See if you have the ability to grade your way out of that situation with the log footage that was provided. That's a situation that I can tell you about all day long, but if you aren't in those situations, it's just gonna be difficult for you to learn. Business is the same way. There's no way for you to be successful, know that you like, have success, grow, um, learn, excel in a niche unless you are out there doing it. So I highly encourage that you all go out, you get up, you rub shoulders with people, not just at networking events, right? Walk into the building of your niche and have conversations with gatekeepers and owners. I promise you, you're going to leave with something to help you get further and further every time. And then you'll get to the point where you can go for the jugular every single time. You'll be able to go in and punch them in the throat every single time. I was scared to death at first. I was studying and, you know, I can use this to get around a gatekeeper and I can use that and pitch this and do that. Man, screw all of that. You have to walk in the building and, and build this experience. Because people are way more alike than you think they are, especially when you live within this niche. Plus, you can't determine whether or not you like something until you do it. You can't determine whether or not you have the right equipment until you do it. You can't be in a niche and do 10 jobs or, or you can't really buy, even buy the right gear. And I'm talking about a lot of small stuff, not just the camera itself, but lenses and things like that until you live in that niche. It took me being in my niche for some time to get the right camera gear, to get the right skill set. For instance, I do a lot of corporate events, right? What blows those guys away is they may hire me to do photography or videography. If I can go get a cheap GoPro, throw a battery pack, sit it in the corner, set it on time lapse and get a complete time lapse of the event. Especially if I use like a DJI Osmo, and this is something that's really cheap that you can put in your back pocket that'll make you a lot of money. But a DJI Osmo pocket has one of the best time lapse features ever because I can look over here and pan it for the whole event and get a nice two hour time lapse that I can deliver to the client almost that night that will blow them away. I can pull it on my cell phone and send it to them and it'll blow them away. And it's something we never discussed never talked about. And it's just something extra that sets us apart. 
that little device will pay for itself the first time you use it if you understand what your client want. These are little things that every time I work with a new client, it blow them away. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that one pickup line that work on, on everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like that one crossover that work on everybody. Every time you play somebody new in basketball, they fall for that same move and they respect your jump shot because you drain a three-pointer in their face. And now you have a game plan. You know, and these are things that you develop just working with the same client over and over and over again. I know I can wow them with sending them pictures during an event while I'm taking pictures. I know I can wow them by having a time lapse at the end of the event. Other guys are telling you to worry about camera and blah, 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 and quality and yada, yada, yada. But y'all skipping over customer service, man. Customer service is is what gets you called back if you're having a bad day, if you forget a memory card, if you have some, a, a data issue. Even if you turn in content that's not up to what they thought they were getting, customer service is what's going to help you get over that hump. And everybody's teaching you how to be this great photographer, but nobody's talking to you about offering great customer service. Customer service is why they will refer you, why they will call you back, why they will talk to their friends about you. Customer service is very important to your business. You can't perfect this reading about it. You have to go out and do it. Procrastination is preventing you from learning these techniques that you need to help get you further in your business. Go out there, talk to some people, get denied, get doors slammed in your face, learn from what you did wrong and fix it. A lot of y'all don't realize how salesy you sound. You're not going to get better at that reading about it. You're going to get better at that by going to do it. I can teach you the way and tell you how to think about it, but you have to go and experience it. We're quick to go out and shoot some kids skateboarding in the park to be better photographers or, you know, film our kids to be better videographers. But we have to go out and do the business side. We have to go out and talk to business owners and make sure that we are sharpening that knife as well. Because a lot of people are having an issue where you sound like you're selling something, even though you're trying to communicate with a business owner and you don't understand how to overcome that because you don't have the experience of walking into a business and asking the right questions. That's why beta clients are so important. That's why I preach that, because you need to get in front of those people and you need to fail forward. You need to learn what it's like to speak in that niche. You need to taste it, feel it. You need to be in it to know whether or not it's for you, to know whether or not you'll have success, to know what's what's right and what's wrong. It, you cannot just study for it. You have to go do it. Put on your gear, go work with somebody in your niche, go talk to some clients, some potential clients, and learn about the business. Hey, keep in mind that the video you just watched contains clips from a longer lecture that's available to our gold members at flashfilmacademy.com. You can go to flashfilmacademy.com to watch the complete lectures if you want to get all the gems and all the information, or you can stay on the channel and continue watching some of our content here. Just click one of those boxes somewhere around here. Just, yeah, you know where to go. Right up in here, somewhere, wherever it pops up, you, you know what to do. You got this.